welcome to the Open Minds Update. I'm Maureen Ellsbury. All right, so what's up with football and UFO sightings? On September 3rd at the Notre Dame versus South Florida game in Indiana, rods were spotted in the sky after a lightning strike. Many of you posted videos on YouTube about this. Then, on Sunday, October 23rd, during the broadcast of the New Orleans Saints and Indianapolis Colts game played in New Orleans, another sighting is being talked about. As NBC returns from commercial break, they happen to show a shot of the St. Louis Cathedral. As the camera slowly pulled out, suddenly there was a streak of light in the background. Lee Spiegel of the Huffington Post reported the story on November 1st, and there have been a few others posting videos about this sighting. Here to take a closer look is Jason McClellan. Thanks, Maureen. The New Orleans video is pretty fascinating. We have, through the course of this video, three, at least three distinct lights that zoom across the sky at an incredible rate of speed. Now in video when we see lights moving that quickly across the screen, it could indicate insects or bugs flying very close to the lens. I don't think that's the case with this video because when you look at the video frame by frame, it's pretty obvious that this that these objects are moving behind the towers of the cathedral. So that, it's pretty safe to say we can rule out bugs with this one. But another thing to note is if you watch the clock on this clock tower here, you can see the arms of the clock moving very quickly. Now either the clock's broken or we're looking at a time-lapse video here. And another indicator of that is the traffic we see moving on the street below we see the lights moving very quickly. So we have a time-lapse video here. We slowed the footage down to give you an idea of what the video might have looked like at original speed. Now this gives you an indication of the speed at which the objects were traveling, but as you can tell, the image is still blurred, and that's because it was a time-lapse video. You're not gonna get an accurate representation here, but you can get a better sense of the trajectory of the object, the flight path as it's coming in. And it does appear to have a pretty steep angle here, which might indicate that the object is a military aircraft instead of a commercial airliner, but it's tough to tell. And an interesting thing to note here is that there are, in fact, three airports within the close vicinity to the stadium, including a military airbase. Maureen? Thank you, Jason. And another sighting last Friday in Scottsdale, Arizona at a high school football game is raising eyebrows as well. In this video, what appears to be white fireballs seem to be floating in the sky. Some UFO sightings have been attributed to skydivers with flares, and they certainly have the appearance of a flare. Two videos appear on this user's site. One already has received a quarter million views. And finally, on a lighter note... Right, okay, so what, it's got lights blazing, did you say? Well, I see these big bright lights floating in the sky. They're coming towards me. Um, uh, I'm in uh, Canterbury Way Stevenage. I don't know what the hell it is. Not the UK's equivalent to US 911 emergency call number 999 received a report in from a caller claiming to see blazing lights in the sky. It turned out to be something truly not from Earth. Two minutes after the original report, the caller called back and acknowledged that he had figured it out. So I just spoke to you myself. Do you know what it was then? Or? Well, <laughs> you won't believe this. You won't believe it. It's a moon. You won't believe it. It's a moon. That's right. It was the moon this man was reporting as a UFO. No report has been given of the caller's blood alcohol level at the time of the report. You can find more stories like these on our website, openminds.tv, where we update the site daily with the latest UFO news. We welcome your comments here on YouTube, and you can also email us at updates at openminds.tv. That's all from the Open Minds News Studio. I'm Maureen Ellsbury, and thanks for watching.